we continue sailing down the coast of Sumatra to get to below the Mentawai Islands to head west across the Indian Ocean. This morning I'm so clear a lot as I need To see the horizon in the far Excuses were too for a penny but they've all gone out the window of this car And when I feel the wind on my face Welcome to our life on the sea. We are an Australian family that fell in love with the ocean and living on a boat travelling. I'm Sarah and together with Lee and our two kids, Taj and Bella, we are documenting our travels as we sail the world one island at a time. This lifestyle is fun, adventurous, humbling and incredibly challenging, but we wouldn't have it any other way. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to our channel to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. So we've just done a massive tack out because the wind was on our nose as usual. <laughs> but it's really nice sailing along and no engine going and got about three or four knots. It's beautiful. So we've just left, um, we're off Raya Island which once we got past Raya, which we are now, there shouldn't be any crazy ass strong winds. There could be some crazy ass Sumatras still. <laughs> but it looks pretty clear tonight. It's about five in the afternoon. Had a pretty relaxing day. Hey, very Corona appropriate at the back. wind picked up and, and got on our beam at about 12.30 last night or maybe about midnight and um, so we've been sailing which is awesome we're not burning fuel and we're going four to five knots so finally finally we've got some winds that are favorable and it's really nice the sun's just coming up and yeah, it's been a pretty good night. Making some ground. We're about 160 nautical miles from uh, where we're going to have a stop. So it's pretty good. It's harder than it seems. Birds are flying all around. So far. Sail reef as we do every night because it's just we just do it because we've been caught out so many times. We just reef the sail no matter what, and um, Lee's just wanting it out so we get a bit more speed because we've got wind on the beam and 
we're still sailing. And there's probably wind in the camera. <laughs> so let's get these sails up so we can move faster. It's always exciting when the rod goes off, wondering what's on the other end of the line and waiting, waiting as Lee winds it in. Fishing that long, mom's going to jelly. <laughs> it's a big, big fish. Is it? Yeah. People do eat them and they are pretty good eating but I don't know they're just such a good looking fish I can't bring myself to keep one. Big fish and prefer to eat the little ones to be honest. I've been told in the past when we're coming up the east coast not to take them out of the water but we're so high up and I didn't want to get a hook in the hand I just sort of used the gaff just to get underneath the barb there and push it out and uh yeah I think he's gonna live. I don't know about me. <laughs> Oh, mate, you're still breaking now. Oh. That was massive. So it's day six today since we left Malaysia. And uh, we're making water for the first time today. So we're running the way out of Mega right now as we go along. And it's motoring along. The sun's going down and we are nautical miles till our destination. Lee's getting ready for the night. Making everything tidy. But no sails up. As you can see there is absolutely no wind. There's a mill pond. No yeah, mill pond, eh? We got time on our side. We're in a state of home. beeline for us. They always do. They, um, they're curious but the way the world is at the moment you get a little bit nervous. You know there's a bit more uh, desperation with people. This small piracy. Homemade guns and machetes. It's not something you want a boat full of coming at you. But we've never come across 
across any violence out here? No. Or anyone being? Well, look, I'm sure there is now and then, but uh, whether you're on the land or out here. Light attracts know. light, honey. It gets real awkward if you hold the camera long enough on him. <laughs> We arrived to a little island in northern Sumatra where our friend Kev was anchored and where there were some waves that we could surf. We got Dory off the deck and got ready to have our first surf in over a year.
Please guys, go do a huge favor for us and subscribe and like this video if you haven't already. hope you enjoyed that episode to see more of our adventures continue watching and we will see you next time when we go surfing